Namaste Scorpio. Welcome to my channel, Lush Home Magical. If you are new, I wish you a special welcome and I hope you won't be new until my next upload. And if you are coming back, Scorpio, thank you very much for your time, your attention and your support. We will jump into your reading, Scorpio, for the month of January 2022. Um, it's going to be for some moon rising and Venus Scorpios. And since it is a general one, <coughs> sorry about that. It may not resonate with every single one of you. Please keep that in mind. So take what where, take what's resonate and leave the rest. This is how it goes. Um, I wanted to say Happy New Year, Scorpio. I hope you had a joyful and pleasant enter into 2022 and i really hope that you enjoy yourself your time let's see what messages are awaiting you in the month of january scorpio we'll be having a look into your energy your person's energy the connection of the both of you and how this person sees you scorpio Let's see. Choop, choop. Okay. <laughs> the person most currently on your mind, right? It doesn't mean if you are in a relationship, Scorpio, or not. Okay, let's jump into your reading, my lovely Scorpio. You have eight of spirals, some fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You have three of scrolls, some air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you have lovers, which is a major arcana under the number of six. Okay, with this one, I'm seeing eight of spirals. Um, you are very active in the month of January. You want to jump right into the doing. As I do know, Scorpios, you are a go-getter. Um, you want to move towards somebody. You want to move quickly. You want to say what's on your mind, to say what's in your heart, and you 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 want to go and get it like straight. Um Three of Scrolls is um, a realization in the month of January. As you see, the fox is having a tear on this card. Um, it's a realization about um, some disappointment you have. Maybe uh, in the recent year, in the month of December, uh, and you're just taking that energy into the January, maybe this is recently happened in the month of January, but there is something you have been disappointed about. Um, I'm not feeling like it is a missed opportunity. It's more of a feeling of sadness and being disappointment. And it definitely got to do with your connection. Um, and the one you have on your mind is what I'm feeling. The next one you do have is a major kind of lovers, which is speaking about you know, having somebody on your mind and in your connection, in your energy. It's a message of unity, of coming together, of celebrating uh, oneness of two people and unity of two people. It also speaks about the opposite attraction and polarity, uh, Scorpio. You have been disappointed about your connection. But we will see more about that when we come into the clarification. When it comes to the person most currently in your mind, your person has the visionary who is the knight of scrolls, some air energy with this one, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Your person has ace of spirals, some fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And your person has the artist, the queen of stones, some earth energy with this one, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be dealing with an air sign, with some fire and earth in their charts it can also be a fire sign since it's the ace of spirals but let's not stay fixed on the signs is what i always say anyway um uh, your person is <clears throat> sitting in the energy of 
creating the vision. I feel like they're very open-minded when it comes to the month of January. I feel like they want to manifest something with you. I feel like there was some like abrupt when it comes to this connection, to be honest. I feel like you do know this person. Uh, maybe you have started building a connection with this person and something didn't work um, the way you wanted, the way you expected. Most of the time when we got disappointed, which you do have with Three of Scrolls, is um, we do have temptation uh, to build expectation and then when it doesn't work the way we expected, the way we wanted, it hits you, disappointment. But I feel like this person wants to connect with you on a whole other level. Um, with the visionary, as I said, it's like they they want to manifest through a vision. Uh, they also may be someone who is daydreaming. That's why I was sensing maybe an air sign you are dealing with. Um, we will clarify that. With Ace of Spiles, I see that, uh, I see that this person, uh, this is significant areas energy of the Ace of Spiles. I see that they have uh, pretty great self-esteem. They are very uh, hardworking, very flexible when it comes to movement, when it comes to work. Uh, they are willing to to uh, do what they need to do uh, in order to achieve what they want to achieve. Also very confident person, Scorpio, with this one. Uh, the next message for your person is the artist, Queen of Stones. Uh, this is very creative energy. Uh, they may be doing something very creative as a hobby. Maybe it is their career path, maybe their job. They're very creative uh, when it comes to their soul purpose is what I'm getting with that one. Um, I feel like they're putting focus into creation of some uh, projects. More than idea, that's why I'm getting a project. They're working on something, putting focus on something. I feel like for right now, you two are not together. As I said, it is some, some break on true probably for you, Scorpio, and this person. When it comes to the connection of the both of you, we have we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Kana, under the number of 10. We have the Sources, which is in traditional tarot, representing the High Priestess, under the number of 2. And we have the Watcher, who is the Queen of Mirrors, Water Energy, your energy, and as well for Cancer and for Pisces. Um, pay some attention around the 10th of January. There is some change uh, happening. Universe is stepping in. Um, I feel like you will be taking a leap of faith. And it has to do definitely with something you were wishing for, with something you have desired, uh, something you want to go towards. And I feel like this is this person again. Even though there has been a disappointment, I feel like you want to go towards this person. Sources is all about manifesting and manifestation and bringing that into the 3D realm. So I feel like the change is going to do with the manifestation happening for you in the month of January. Going towards this love connection and this person. Uh, we also have a watcher, Queen of Mirrors. So... Um, this is a very intuitive message when it comes to the connection of the both of you. I feel like the intuition of the both of you is very on point. And I feel like um, you two in this period of January are not uh, being together. Maybe the communication is not really on board, but you are definitely watching each other. Both of you are watching each other on the internet, on the social media, um, there is a need for communication is what I'm getting with the watcher. Because the blue is in the background, a lot of blue. And this uh, light blue is representing the, the uh, throat chakra. So it speaks about verbal communication and vocals. Uh, there is also full moon. So I feel like you two do want to... Uh, talk with each other, be open with each other, and, you know, um, resolve something. I feel like you need to resolve something with this person. Uh, when it comes to how this person sees you, Scorpio, we have Ten of Spirals. 
fire energy. We have the Corsair who is representing the Knight of Spires, fire energy. And we have Green Man who is representing the Emperor, again, specific Aries energy, fire energy, Major Arcana, number of four. My dear, this person sees you as well as someone who is hardworking as they are someone who uh, is very brave and capable of someone who has a lot of strengths i feel like they admire you to be honest and uh, they see you as someone who needs to bring a decision maybe because of you were the one uh who got this appointment with the three of scrolls that's why they see you okay you need to bring the decision by the end of january you need to uh, pick up the road. You need to uh, choose the direction where you want to move. They also see you as someone who is uh, very playful and who very good uh, jumps into the character of yours. They see you as someone who can be very transformative. Um, I feel like the conversation you have had with this person, they were on a deeper a more meaningful level Scorpio um, they also sees you see you as somebody who uh, is not guarded when you are with them and they like that of course uh, they see you also as somebody who wants to know everything um, also someone who got great self-esteem and is also very confident with the Corsair so very similar energies between the two of you it's almost like you mirror each other and i mean with the green man and with the emperor uh how they see you they see you as uh, if you are male father figure definitely if you are a woman they see you as someone who can be mother of the children they see you as someone who is grounded and stable and nurturing and loving and kind and supportive and just very lucky and very good to have you in their energy presence. Now, let's clarify. Let's clarify, Scorpio, your energy and your person's energy. That was the needy gray card, which wanted to flop out, flop out, flip out. <laughs> Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you already have not. I'm very, very thankful for that. Trust me. It can be your gift for a new year uh, for me and my channel. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Let's see. Scorpio. So when it comes to your energy, we have a clarification. Eight of spirals is causing you stress clarification of stress so uh, your activeness in the month of january and your moving toward this person is what i'm getting um take it how it resonates it's causing you stress it's like overwhelming for you it's a little bit too much um i will get your advice uh what i want to share right now with you that Maybe you need to take it a little down. Maybe you need to put the ball down in order to let time, let space uh, heal your disappointment. I feel like um, you don't want to face this. It really hurts you and you don't want to face it. You're having a tower as a confirmation to the three of scrolls so the universe is stepping in with the tower in order for you to face the disappointment and it will bring you probably to uh, slow down a little bit of this eight of spirals i hope uh, and it will bring you to realization how much love you have with this person you started with the lovers in your energy and clarification for that is the wholeness 
So I feel like you feel this person is your second half, your B half. Scorpio. Clarification for your person. The visionary Knight of Scrolls is clarified with compromise. So I feel, uh, really, you know, um, a visionary is... Um, as I said, having these visions and I feel like they want to move towards you. I feel like they want to talk to you. I feel like whatever may have happened, Scorpio, for you and this person, uh, there is a need for compromise. And for compromise to come into place, you need to uh, stop looking at each other in the social media and get in personal face to face and just talk it out. Ace of Spires for this person for your person is clarified with um, also a message of wholeness, but in a way of I'm getting a bigger picture. I'm uh, getting the puzzle I miss so I can fulfill the story. So I feel like by the end of this month of January, they will also have a realization about that. I feel like they will get more confidence to come towards you and eventually talk to you about the compromise they want to have with you. Like with the Ace of Spirals, they will build a confidence and build a self-esteem so they can, you know, get to the uh, missing puzzle and just uh, also feel whole. <laughs> Tell it how it is. The artist, Queen of Stones, is clarified with success. Maybe this creation got to do with you, Scorpio. It is a creative energy and it can be a project. It can be a job. It can be a hobby. It can be a, a person. It can be whatever they relate to, to create, to build. And it's going to be successful. Let's see what romantic angels want to tell you, Scorpio. For you and your person. Stay optimistic to your love life. You need to think positive and you need to have trust and that will bring you luck in love. Think positive, stay positive. It got to do with the tower, which is happening for you in the month of January. It will bring you to realization of love and you will feel whole again after disappointment. So stay optimistic is what romantic angels want to remind you. And for your person, hmm, romantic feelings. These feelings are real and they are words for you to look closer. This person catch feelings for you. Very romantic one. This person wants to be with you, whatever have happened. They want to talk with you. They want to they want to solve this problem, issue, whatever it may have been. You know about it. Uh, they want to resolve that with a compromise. They did catch feelings. So we have universe love messages for you, my dear. The first one is, I heart you. Saying, if everyone really knew how much they were loved, not only from above, but by those now in their life, there'd be little hearts drawn on everything from wheelbarrows to skyscrapers to jumbo jets. And I so look forward to, say, to that day. I wanted to say, say, so I feel like there is really need for communication and honest communication, open communication between the two of you. The next message for you is 
love doesn't have to mean near. So um, for some of you, some of that issue may got to do with distance relationship. Um, I feel like maybe that had to do with your disappointment, Scorpio, and um, it's saying stay optimistic. Believe in yourself. Believe in your feelings. You do have love for this person. Some are better loved at a distance. For a while, anyway. And that's okay. Besides, love doesn't really know the difference. I got goosebumps. Because that's just beautiful. Love does not know the difference. And you do love each other. The last message from love universe is forgive. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. Just depends on how much more you want from the adventure. There is a need for forgiveness, Scorpio. Again, I'm saying, sorry for repeating, uh, whatever have happened, whatever brought you to the to this disappointment, uh, they see you in a lovely way, very similar, the way you actually mirror each other in a way. And there is a need for forgiveness, probably for you to forgive this person. <clears throat> okay. We have second chakra, so, um, not solar plexus. I wanted to say solar plexus. You don't have that one right now in this reading. Um, second chakra. I'm not having the name in my head right now. Maybe you do. It says, I can set boundaries, yet be empathic and warm. So there is maybe a need for setting boundaries. This is just a reminder. Um, you can still be empathic and be warm, having a boundaries, knowing yourself, knowing where your boundaries at. So I feel like this, again, has to do with this tree of scrolls, with the disappointment of your Scorpio uh, because you do want this person, you do want to be with them, but you know, okay, there are some changes I need to make. I don't want to go through the same shit that I went. I don't want the same repeating cycle, so I need to do something. What? Set boundaries. And still be empathetic and warm. The second message for you is the one of throat chakra. And it says, I speak true, I speak love, I am expressive. I feel like you do want that with this person. You do want to communicate with this person and this person as well. And even though it may be get off, uh, you both want to talk with each other. They want to compromise. And you need to face that. You want to speak true. And this is a reminder, if you come into the communication with them, Scorpio, speak true, speak, speak from a heart, speak open-minded, speak through love, and be expressive the way you can. And the last message for you, Scorpio, is the one of Crown Chakra. It's saying, let go of your ego-driven life. Great reminder to have in a reading. Let go of your ego-driven life. Uh, that's the same thing I was sensing with uh, don't rush. Take it easy. Let it flow. There is emotion in emotion. So it's flowing. Let not cause you stress. And if it does, it's going to be because of this. Your ego-driven life. Maybe it's where you used to deal with it don't rush it let it be it's gonna be okay this is your reading my lovely scorpio thanks for watching thank you for supporting thanks for coming back 
Um, I hope it resonates. Please do comment um, how it does resonate. I'm always happy to see the comments from our people. Um, until we meet again, my dears. Take care.